Uh, welcome back. You're tuned in to uh, Chartbusters here on CNBC TV 18. Well, let's get our next management. We have ITI who joins us. We have Mr. Agarwal who joins us. And the key factor that we want to focus on is the company has told the stock exchanges yesterday that they're looking at manufacturing face shields primarily for various authorities across the country. Uh, hi, Mr. Agarwal. Thanks so much for joining in, sir. Give us a few details on this. I believe that initially you're looking at around 5 lakh uh, uh, in terms of numbers on a monthly basis. Uh, tell us whether or not this is going to have any kind of commercials out there or is it going to be something that you will be doing voluntarily uh, to help uh, fight uh, the COVID-19 pandemic? Yeah, basically initial our thought is to just uh, uh, distribute uh, these uh, sheets to the different, different organizations just to uh, fight with the um, continued uh, this uh, COVID-19 issues. So definitely initial 50,000 to 1 lakh pieces we shall be giving on a complementary basis. And as right now our capacity is 5 lakhs uh, per month and we intend to increase this capacity 5 lakhs to the 15 lakhs per month in the next two months time. So definitely as per the requirement of the different PSUs, organizations, hospitals and different state governmental organizations. So it can be supplied on the commercial basis as well. Also tell us, uh, you know, uh, how much money are you deploying towards production of these things? I believe that your factories would be ready. Just a few tweaks here and there. How much money would that be? Basically, already we do have the running uh, manufacturing plants across the country. We do have, um, 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 right now we are manufacturing it from the our Bangalore plant. But we plan to manufacture it from our library and the Nani plant as well. That is why we will we will increase our capacity from 5 lakhs to the 15 lakhs in the next uh, two months time. So as far as money is concerned, the money is required in the raw material for the frame and as far as sheet is concerned. So that is the minuscule money required and because this working capital is not much required because it's a very fast moving uh, product and uh, we will be working on the very minuscule amount of the working capital for this product. All right, Mr. Agarwal, you'll at least break even on, uh, you know, uh, on these sales? Ha, ha, yes, yes, yes. Uh, our results will be declared in the second week of this June and definitely uh, we are expected uh, to perform much better than the last uh, financial year. No, Mr. Agarwal, what I mean is that on the sales of these 5 lakh face shields that you're talking about, you want to increase it to 15 lakh odd. Uh, it'll be commercially viable, right? From a shareholder's point of view, they would appreciate good work, but they'll also want to know whether or not you'll be, it'll be margin accretive. That's what we're getting at. Uh, yes, yes, because by the way, the whatever machines and electronic items are required, those are already available with our plants. So as far as uh, these uh, resources are concerned, our uh, mm -hmm. already human resources are, are already available with us, machines are already available with us, the only uh, investment required in terms of the working capital uh, for the raw material sheets as well as frame so this uh, working capital is a very minimal requirement of the total cost of the product okay fair point we wish you good luck on this one but uh, let's talk about business now in uh, the wake of what has happened how does your uh, guidance stack up you had earlier said that fy20 revenues would be close to around that 3500 crore mark the next year you would see revenue growth of around 10 percent you do have some orders in hand if you could tell us about uh, the other part of your business right now how how, how does the guidance and uh, uh, your performance stack up against it Oh, yes, uh, as far as um, this current year results are concerned, so definitely um, uh, results will be out in the second quarter of the June. So definitely we shall be discussing in detail and uh, definitely performance, as I just told you, is comparatively much better than the financial year. Of course, quarter four is affected because of this our, uh, final overall, overall targets may be affected a little bit. But uh, definitely um, uh, quarter one is also um, uh, getting affected because of the COVID issues. All the plants and the projects are affected. But definitely we will uh, cover up in the second quarter and onwards. So we are sure that whatever uh, uh, targets and, uh, uh, and guidance we have given in the past, so we shall be able to not only maintain but uh, surpass those targets. All right, and finally, you know, if you could tell us a little about your receivables. The last time you spoke to us, you said you had close to around 3,000 crores in terms of receivables. How much is that from the government? And given the fact that, you know, the government's purses are tight right now, is there any worry on that? No, actually, receivables uh, in the current fin financial year itself, you will find out that receivables has been down com uh, considerably. 15 to 20% uh, has uh, already it has reduced. 
compared to the last financial year and as far as uh, um, the government dues and the other uh, organizations are concerned so we don't have any worry from the uso funded projects because we do have the receivables from the uso funded funded projects from maharashtra and the bharat net project in gujarat so that is not at all a issue as far as defense business is concerned that is also not an at all a issue so some issues uh, were there with the bsn so now government has already set up a high level committee and uh, efforts are continuously being with them to reduce the amount uh, with the uh, passage of time and definitely considerable progress has been there on this front also so what? at least 20% has been already down compared to the last financial year what's the amount quickly sir from bsnl uh, itself bsnl itself it is around um, uh, 1100 cr but uh, but of course but the point is ki the all 1100 cr need not to be taken from the bsnl some advance we have taken to only reconciliation only reconciliation of the accounts between the two organizations have to be done and that was that has started so net amount comes to be only 100 to 150 cr only 100 to 150 cr from the bsnl itself Mr. Agarwal, thanks a lot for stopping by and giving us your business update. We wish you good luck, but uh, just keep an eye out on the market. It's a big, big move on the Nifty now, crossing that 9,100 mark, left, uh, led, of course, by the Nifty Bank, which is sitting with a gain for almost 450 points. So we'll take a short break, come back, and keep an eye, uh, keep an eye out on the market as well as individual stocks.